Hey everybody, it's Dean here and I'm going to do another LinkedIn tips video. This time we're going to be looking at your header image and your profile picture. Do not tune out because I'm going to show you some things you do not know and probably haven't realized that is affecting your performance on LinkedIn. And these are specifically to do with your header and profile picture. So as we dive into this, Please take it on board. There's more videos about other things to do with LinkedIn, about how you can ramp up LinkedIn, attract more clients and close more business. But this one is about the header image and the profile picture. And so don't tune out. Likewise, if you think I'm going to do this, keep following the channel, subscribe to the channel because you will see more videos that will help you really conquer LinkedIn for yourself. You don't need an outsourced service. If you put the time in, you can do it yourself. So we're looking at my profile here and I have my header and I have my profile picture. Your header is your opportunity to really give people a flavor of who you are and what you do. Just like your headline, just like your profile picture, they all have the power to convey something about you. So I use my header for two things. The first thing is I use it to communicate some key things that I deliver. So I have three key uh, kind of anchor services and products that we deliver. The first one being Win Your Next Client on LinkedIn, which is a training course, coaching program, and corporate training program. We have Client Attraction Strategy, which is a big picture sales and marketing for uh, companies that are looking to grow and want to make the sales process easier, simpler, and draw more clients to them and really kind of give the competition a run for their money. Uh, and then there's Break Business Barriers, which are for companies that are really struggling. They're probably thinking about whether we, we have a viable future and we look at how we can turn that business around. And again, uh, training, coaching, consulting. So I use my headline to really get those things across, but I've also got a quite a funky, well, I think funky, picture of me pointing at my head. Uh, it's a little bit um, unconventional picture, and I use that to convey a bit of my personality so that people don't expect a suit when they book me. They don't expect um, you know, something boring. They're going to get a bit of humor. They're going to get a bit of fun, but they're also going to be getting something deadly serious that knows can deliver for them. So I use that to convey a bit of my personality, but also of the key things that I'm offering to the world. Now, in a previous video, I showed you that there are three things that will follow you everywhere you go on LinkedIn. Number one is your name. Number two is your headline. And number three is your profile picture. Now, you may have all sorts of ideas about what needs to go in your profile picture. Uh, it's not your logo, by the way. You should never put your logo in your profile picture. Your profile picture should be you. And it should be you where your head is not like tiny. It should be you where you people can make out you, make you out and recognize you. Uh, if they can't recognize you from the picture, uh, you're never going to be able to build a rapport and build a relationship. So you need to be recognizable. Uh, this is my profile picture. And I'll tell you why it needs to be recognizable. Because everywhere you go, the posts, the comments, the messages, all of those things, your profile picture will show up. So you want to build rapport, you want to build familiarity, so your profile picture should be recognizable. Um, mine is actually probably on the smaller side, um, so uh, you probably want it to be a little bit bigger, maybe head and shoulders. You can spend 400 quid on it or you can use your phone, it's not rocket science. But let me show you why it matters that it's recognizable. Uh, and recognizable as a human because people buy from people despite our age of automation and AI people want to trust and buy into people so if we look at my profile here you got my profile picture yeah if I scroll down and go let's let's look at my activity and look at my posts and here we are look my profile picture is there yeah, so when somebody sees your posts, and in the other training, I show you how you get more uh, po uh, content views. I show you how you get uh, up to 100,000 content views with no ad spend. This really does matter. But also, when you're engaging with people, yeah, you create notifications in their notifications feed. You create notifications. So your profile picture shows up here. 
What you want is to make sure that your profile picture is recognizable. That if people saw you three or four times over, the, say, a month, that people would remember who you are. They would say, I'm sure I've seen that person somewhere before. Because you're in their feed or they're, they're seeing information from you or you're connecting with them or you're engaging with them. So your profile picture does matter a huge, huge amount. Uh, not just how pretty and wonderful you are, not just all the filters you can put on to make yourself more beautiful. It's actually about being recognisable. People remembering what you look like. So think about your profile picture differently. Don't put a logo there. Don't put um, random stuff there. Make sure it's a recognisable, friendly, reasonable looking version of you. Because people want to know that you're not going to stalk them, you're not going to hound them, and you're a nice person to do business with. And this profile picture is your opportunity to do just that. So profile pictures really do matter. Thanks for watching. Please follow me on LinkedIn. I can't connect because I'm full. Uh, so please follow and please subscribe to the channel because I'll be sharing more tips that will help you close more clients on LinkedIn without being pushy.